Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Persona 5 Tactica. But, before we get into this video, I have a bit of a unboxing to do. This is a present for my birthday that has passed from one of my friends and supporters of my channel. So thank you so much to Sam for delivering me this awesome present. I'm really excited because I believe, if I recall, this is a beverage. A, 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 a beverage. It's a beverage. A nice tasty treat of which I made sure to promise not to use a knife to open it. So instead I'm using very precise scissors. Although these are supposed to be for, uh, uh, these are hair scissors, so, yeah, my, my cat's not gonna be happy for me dulling the scissors a bit here. Ooh, there's something else in here, too. Hey, got some stickers. Hey, these are, like, summer-themed stickers, too. Oh, uh, and I can already tell they, they used a, uh, uh, specific st uh, sticker. Look at this. Uh, they used, they used a Your Jawsome sticker. And I got you rule and fantastic and perfect. Two water puns. <laughs> I love that. I'm gonna try to use those for some decoration in my my room. Ooh! Hey, I got another pillow. Here we go. Oh, it's one of those uh beanbag like pillows. Nice. Very nice if I want to keep my head like stationary. Yeah. I can use this. Thank you so much, Sam. And there it is. At first I was worried it wasn't in there. Oh, there's the Your Jawsome sticker that she used. Oh my god, what's this? It's a card. Ah. E. Ooh. Some envelopes make cards just annoying to pull out. You're so special to me. When I wish you a wonderful birthday, it comes from a place in my heart that's so happy for all that you've added to my life and my world from the start. Oh. When I wish you a wonderful birthday, it's because you're important to me. And because you deserve a beautiful year that's as happy as any could be. Wish you a wonderful birthday, your friends, Sam and Del Shea. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's going to be able to be seen in the video. Right there. Put in that card right there. I'll of course move it because that's where I eat. Then I don't want to get the card ruined. Uh, but it's going to go there. And I got some stickers. Some like stickers or magnets. Oh yeah, there's, these are stickers. Yeah. And these are based off of... Uh, Characters from one of my favorite games I played on my channel, although I still wish I did better with the recording because my microphone audio was a little bit loud. Uh, but these are Hollow Knight stickers. So we got, let's see if I can show them off quickly here. We got Grim. Love it. Hey! <laughs> we got the final boss. I forgot his name. It's been a little bit since I played. I know some of the characters' names, but I forgot some of their names. I think it was just the Pale Knight, I think, or the Chosen. Uh, and we got another one of him. Instead of fishing, he's all dressed in dapper in his wonderful, pure outfit before he got corrupted. We got the Knight. Our wonderful boyo that we played as. Hey, and we got our buddy here that we've seen in our travels. Very nice. And then finally, we got one more sticker. A circular one of the knight standing next to the final boss in his corrupted state. Or at least with glowing eyes. He, he's missing some designs to show if he's corrupted in there or not. It looks like it's just his normal self with a tattered cloak but glowing eyes. But, 
I'm counting anyway. And finally, we got a beverage. We got cheer wine. It's a soft drink. F now, for those of you that uh, don't know, I was the same thing when I asked. It's called cheer wine, but it's not alcohol. It's a soda. It's a nice little soda. 211 calories. So Eric size, of course, one bottle. And I gotta say, I like the design of the bottle. That's actually a nice little bottle design right there. I'm gonna get some ice for this. I'll be right back. We're gonna get some ice. We're gonna we're gonna pop this soda open. Take a sip. Alright, I am back. I got myself a cup with some ice in it. We're gonna pop this thing open. Let's pop this baby open. Ooh, strong cap. Yeah, it's still fizzy. Ooh, interesting smell. I don't see the first scent. Made me think of some things I uh, smelled on Christmas. I actually did. Like, no lie. It, I had... I don't know what, what it was that I smelled that had the smell like this, but... Reminds me of Christmas. Ooh. I like that smell. Alright, here we go. Ooh. That is... That is good. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Dr. Pepper. But it has like a... A nice, like, it goes down really smoothly. Really smoothly. I like it. Thank you so much, Delche and Sam, for supporting the channel for as long as you guys have been. And thank you so much for this soft drink. I'm going to drink it during this video. And probably continue to the uh, video after. <laughs> Depends on how long it takes for me to drink this. But anyway, let's get back to the video while I... Enjoy this drink, and let's commence the uh, mission operation of having our characters have a nice convo with each other, maybe make some more plans. So let's progress. Hmm. I gotta see if this is around in stores. Okay, let's go over the situation. Hmm, yes, let's go over the operation, but no, don't mind me, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying my drink. Wait, where's Yuki-san? Yuki-san went out into town. She wanted to check on the people we freed. She's quite kind-hearted, isn't she? We can tell her everything later. So, Toshiro, will you tell us what's going on? I would like to know what's going on, too, being uh, your father is telling you to relinquish something into his hands. So, uh, how about you, uh, tell us what is it you, uh, probably forgot that you're holding on to. And uh, maybe check your pockets. Yes. Just as he said, Shiki is my father. Okay. I remember everything. He is your Shiki Kazukabe, a current member of the Diet. Huh? Your old man's a politician, too? Huh. You would not think such a face of a man like that would be a bad person, but there could be a mask on anyone's face. And I'm not talking about a literal mask. I'm talking about some people, they can hide their true personality under a, a guise. Simple as just making a smile and just playing along. Kasukabe. He's a diet member who doesn't attract much attention, but he's had a long-standing career. I've heard he even has a reputation for consensus building within his party. Yes, some people call him Buddha Kasukabe, in admiration of his serene temperament. On the surface, that is. My father is obsessed with political power. I'm sorry, that <laughs> that face his father is making with that with those lips and stuff is just mm. 
Mm, yes. <laughs> Not being one for the spotlight, he tended to shy away from publicity. Which is why he sought to fulfill his desires by making me prime minister. So is that what he was asking for you to give to him? He wants you to give back the status of prime minister? When I was a child, he raised me very strictly. Oh, so that's what he looked like as a kid. Not just academically. He drilled me on political etiquette and controlled my social interactions. If I failed to comply with his demands, he wouldn't hesitate to raise his hand against me. Ew, okay, a abusive father, just like in Strikers that we found out um, to one of the previous characters, they were abused by their dad, and now it's brought back again, except for a, a politician's uh, son. Eesh. Even as a child, there were moments when I resented being born to such a family. It sounds horrible. My father's word was absolute. The thought of rebelling never even crossed my mind. I mean, I didn't say that, but I I can tell that this point, this just points out my, uh, my thing like I said back then, which is like, even though we have choices to say, it still kind of wraps around telling us exactly the, the things, any, uh, the things they're going to say anyway, no matter what we click. The only thing that's different is, like, minor niche things. Moreover, I had no one else to turn to. Uh, what about your mom? She didn't help you? My mother was very frail. She passed away when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. To be honest, I can barely remember her. Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, I eventually became a diet member by riding on my father's coattails. Even now, I simply do what my father tells me to do. That still hasn't changed. Even my history, it's rather laughable that I could forget him. <laughs> However, there's something I still don't understand. From Yoshiki's... From your father's perspective, you were always an obedient son. So, why was he so upset with you? That's what I want to know. He was so desperate to find you that he even said you were a wanted criminal. He seemed awfully enraged about something you ran off with. What was that about? <laughs> My father actually is a criminal. Following Representative Shido's downfall, my father finally decided to take action. He laid the groundwork to ensure that I would be nominated as the Prime Minister. Okay, so then my guess before is null and void then about like him maybe wanting him to give back Prime Minister status because he wanted him to have that status. But what is it you have then that he wants? I don't really get this stuff, but is it really that easy to do? Not under normal circumstances. However... My father took advantage of the political turmoil that's been going on since last year. He employed shady characters to intimidate representatives he had dirt on. He also went about wheeling and dealing a large amount of Marie's family's financial resources. If that's true, then he's guilty of extortion, blackmail, and bribery. All criminal offenses. And you're sure of this? I have documents he forged, voice recordings, and other hard evidence as well. That might be what he wants then. He wants him to give all the evidence he found and took on his father. Oh. I had a hunch my father rigged the election, which is why I investigated. I still have the evidence which I secretly stole on hand. So, all you have to do is go public with that, and he can't control you anymore. I couldn't muster the courage to blow the whistle on him. My father's schemes were not out of the ordinary in the political world. Ending the political confusion with steady leadership was in everyone's best interest. It's truly a shameful story. Mm. 
Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he he didn't say this part. Ending the political confusion with steady leadership was in everyone's best interest. Is what I kept telling myself. Okay. So that was that was my bad. Literally literally like I clicked it as soon as I heard the pause, but I thought he was done. He I didn't hear him speak quieter. That threw me off. Sorry about that. Yeah, turn over a new leaf. You're exactly right. Not speaking up makes me equally guilty. I won't talk my way out of it. Well, setting that aside for now, I think I finally get the gist. Yoshiki thinks you hid that evidence, so he's trying to get it back, right? No. So what is it he wants? I thought so too at first, but something still doesn't make sense. It's very unlikely that my father knows I stole the evidence of his crimes. So what else is it he wants? First of all, he didn't show any signs of panic about his misdeeds potentially being exposed. Furthermore, I doubt the thought of me betraying him would have even crossed his mind. But why is he after you then? That's because... <sighs> It might be because I thought that he knew about it. The thought of my father questioning me about the evidence I stole fills me with terror. Wait. If that's the case, then this metaverse is possibly Toshiro's metaverse. That might be the case, then. This might be Toshiro's metaverse that became cognitive like other people's uh, metaverses when they get a shadow and all that in his mind and then created it. And this is like stages of um, his self in each kingdom. That, that might be wrong. I don't know. Like, part of me feels like that because of what he just said right there. He thought his father knew. And it filled him with terror about him knowing. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to find out more as we progress. In other words, I think he knows because that's how I perceived it to be. So, if Toshiro's perception is reflected in Yoshiki, then that means... Uh, someone clue me in here. Then that means this kingdom is born out of Toshiro's cognition. Oh! So my guess is... Right? Are you saying this part of the metaverse is Toshiro's? I believe that's the most pragmatic explanation. I should be the only one who knows I have the evidence, so it would all fit together. Although it could be possible that my father caught on to me in the real world. But the incident at the enemy base convinced me of my theory. Uh, yeah, let's hear it. The password. Oh, you mean the password you used to open the hidden door? Yeah, that was close. I still can't believe that door was actually giving me serious trouble. Oh, I get it. That was when... That was when what? How's it looking, Oracle? Can you open it? Oh, that's what the door looked like with the terminal. Oh, this lock is a bit tougher than I expected. This guy is either really paranoid or a serious scaredy cat. Hey, let's have some fun and make this guy squeal, huh? This is getting bad. We have...
have to stop them. Wait, I, I know how you feel, but we can't... Oh, no. It sounds like there's a tense situation going on over there. Damn it, I can't crack the password. I'm sorry, it's gonna take me a bit longer. Come on, we just need to get past this, and then we'll be able to expose all of Yoshiki's misdeeds. Misdeeds? Expose? Uh, this is looking really bad. How much longer, Oracle? Oh, I'm so close. I just gotta do something about this password. Sorry, but I'm borrowing this for a moment. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Pops, what are you... Huh? I just need to input the password, right? This should do it. It opened! Way to go, Toshiro! You have an act for this kind of thing, too? No, uh, that was just... All right! Looks like we're all set on our end! Ball's in your court, guys! And that's when we engaged the enemy. I must have been able to open the door because I perceived myself exposing my father's crimes. Couldn't you have guessed the password because he's your father? My father is a cautious man. He would frequently change the password on these kinds of devices. Isn't it a little hard to believe that something I came up with at random was the right password? Well, that's... I have more evidence as well. There's also this place, LeBlanc. This place? What about it? I had a nagging feeling there was something familiar about LeBlanc. Then it hit me. I knew this place in the real world. My being the youngest candidate for prime minister caused some commotion. I was uncomfortable no matter where I went. <clears throat> I was overwhelmed every day having to entertain visitors, meet other diet members, and deal with the media. And one day, I stumbled upon LeBlanc in a back street. From then on, I went there to find refuge whenever I wanted to be alone. And there's Sojiro! We don't get to fully see what he looks like yet in this game. I'm hoping that changes soon, but still, that's him! Get to see a little bit of Sojiro! Hey, Sojiro! Yeah, it's so peaceful there that you can hardly tell they do business. <clears throat> so you're saying LeBlanc doesn't get customers? If the chief heard that, he'd be upset. Oh, <laughs> and the coffee there is exquisite. It's possible I ran into you all there before. But then why does this world exist? And how did you end up in it? I wish I knew. However, if my theory turns out to be true, then it means I've dragged you all into my own problems. I'm truly sorry. No need to apologize, man. That sort of thing doesn't bother us. Even if it turns out we're stuck here, we'll just work something out. Yeah, I mean, we're practically pros in metaverse combat by now. If we can't overcome this, then perhaps we were fated to be here. But if you haven't noticed, we don't give up easily. I mean, how can I just lay down and die when there's still so many sweets I want to try? Really? Yep, we'll go home together. I see. You're all very <coughs> tough, aren't you? They're tougher than you think. So maybe you should stop looking down on them just because of what, how they take care of things. They're still helping people. That's all that matters. Well, we've been through a lot, so we're not going down without a fight. But don't sell yourself short, Toshiro. Huh? You discerned your father's motives and took action of your own volition. If you had kept quiet about it, then you would have remained his puppet. You couldn't overlook your father's crimes, so you wanted to make things right. Isn't that so? Huh. <laughs> 
but I didn't have the courage to. Not at the time, right? Think about it, Toshiro. This is the same as when you confronted Marie. Wait, so if that's the case, could it be possible that Arena is someone that he might have met before, too? Or maybe she is just some being that is a citizen of the metaverse created by his cognition. I don't know. It's oddly specific that, like, she and Yuki still are normal people. Whereas all the other citizens and all that here, they're all, like, look like shadows, but they're not shadows. They're like something else. I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Just like you said, even puppets have a backbone. Yes. You're right. <sighs> Phantom Thieves, I have a favor to ask. You want us to do you a favor? Yes. I'd like to make a deal with you all. Even if this world is in my mind, I still can't manipulate it at will, right? For example, I can't just wish my way out of here. Sadly, no. And we can't just le go back and forth inside the place like we used to in Strikers. But then again, we also had Sophia to help with that. But that was also being manipulated in a different way, using people's phones in a technical way. I don't know about the first game, though. I don't know about Royal, if it was the same thing where they couldn't leave until the job was done. I don't know. Yeah, that would probably be difficult. First of all, changing a person's heart is not an easy feat. Every time we steal someone's treasure, we're risking our lives. In that case, there's something I have to do. I'm not going to run from my father anymore. Not even from the version of him in this world. I need to see him again and settle the score. Will you lend me a hand, Phantom Thieves? In return, I give you my word that I'll indict my father for his crimes. I'll come clean with everything. I'll free the political world from corruption and... <sighs> no, I can't call this a deal. What you all would get in return is too ambiguous. Since you're phantom thieves, maybe some cash or jewels or even gold? That's a little much. Oh, but where would I get that kind of money? Would it even be legal? Oh, there must be something. So, what should we do? I mean, one thing I could think of he could give them, since he was all against them before... Why not Toshiro, in return, give the Phantom Thieves a complete pass for the things they do in the real world, as well as, of course, keeps their secret, so that way nothing... Well, actually, no, like, um, like in Strikers, they lose their memory. I don't think he'd even be able to remember. I don't know what he could do. I was, I was just thinking he could just, like, give them a pass so that way, like, all the stuff he knows for, for what they did, it would be completely just swept under the rug. Nope, just gone. Like, nope, I'm no longer against the Phantom Thieves type, uh, type deal. And he would, like, approve of them for the things they do for the citizens and the world. But I don't know if he's even going to remember that. Yeah, I say, let's help him out. Huh? We'll fight by your side while we're here. In exchange, you'll indict your father for his crimes in the real world. That's the deal. You don't need anything else. You're the only one who can set your father straight. Yeah, if there's a grown adult out there who lost their way, we're counting on you to fix him up for us. I... I swear, I'll fulfill my promise. You have my word. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Then it's a deal. 
<laughs> oh, Yuki-san! You came back! Yes, it seemed like you were discussing something important, so... Oh. I should explain things to you as well, Yuki-san. But... Well... How do I put this? It's all right. I only heard a little bit, but I was listening. Although I may not understand the finer details of your world, I know you want to win against your father, correct? Yes. Then it appears we have the same goal. Many people are still imprisoned in the basement of Yoshiki's castle. My only wish is to rescue them and rid the people of their suffering. So once again, could you please lend us your strength? Thank you very much. I'll be sure to help out as well. Well, I'm sure everyone is exhausted from all that we've been through. Let's stop this talk of battle for now and take a break. I'll make some tea for everyone. That sounds lovely, Yuki-san. All of you should get some rest. I'll start working on our next strategy. We need to act while the Aizen squad is still in disarray, so we don't have too much time to dally. <clears throat> Oh, right. If you're coming up with a strategy, I'd like to explain something to you first. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk over there. I think I'll have some tea and rest for a bit. Me too. It's about time we finally took a break. <laughs> I have some good tea leaves on hand, too. I'll bring it out once it's ready. Oh man, that convo took a lot longer than I was expecting it to to do. And we got another one also, plus we got another talk right here, which is no that no doubt going to take a little bit. Better jot that down. I was really hoping to keep my promise, but like I said in the last video, I'll I'm gonna do the best I can to make you have some form of engagement with combat for you guys to enjoy, but it might not be possible throughout like all the videos because just some of these combos takes a long time and I don't want to make the video too long that it becomes more and more boring so we're gonna end up this video here for you guys we're gonna continue it in the next episode where we're going to try our best to see if we can quickly go through both these combos and hopefully some conflict will engage itself then but at least we got some big story stuff hitting us we now know that this world is Toshiro's Cognition. This is a world of his making. He created this place due to his very thoughts in his mind and his heart. And he is willing to fix everything to make sure that everyone gets back home and that he stops all the crimes his father has committed in the real world. So it's possible that it might be the same thing with Marie, but I guess we'll find out. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and help support it. And as always, see you all in the next video. Take care, and have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye-bye, everyone. Mmm.